guys, welcome back to my channel. You may not be able to see me, but my main goal for today is just to show you guys how to turn a regular empty canvas like this that I bought from Michaels. I bought about 12 of them, actually about 24, two packs of 12. They're usually a 10 pack. This is an eight by 10 inch, but it came with two free ones. So that was awesome. Sorry, that's just my heat press. I have two minutes before I do it again because I gotta fix it. But um, I wanna show you guys how to add sublimation. Just like this, you guys can see the sides look great. The bottom looks amazing. The only thing is I'm gonna be working on the back with you guys. What I did this time was I made it more even so that when it comes to this part, I don't have to cut it while it's already on the canvas like this because that's when you get all the, the weird looking cuts you want to cut it prior to. So it's a pretty even cut now. Um, the size of my fabric when I'm doing this 8 by 10 is approximately Thirteen inches, so that's one more. Oh, thirteen, thirteen inches. Is it thirteen inches? So yeah, it's about thirteen inches by ten, almost um uh, a little bit more than ten and a half. So almost eleven. So thirteen by eleven. Let's just say this is the size of my fabric. Um, I wanted it to be cut as evenly as possible and the size of my image is just about the same. But it's 12 and a half by nine and a half. You guys could do it pretty close. Uh, try to see what works best for you. But those are the, the measurements that I have. Please forgive me. With that, I'm trying to get through this uh, pretty quick for you guys. So the next thing that I wanna do is basically line up my fabric and my, and my image. We are simply going to sublimate this fabric and then cover it on the canvas, just like this. I actually wanted it to be black and white, but it's not, and that's okay. I guess I forgot to put that option on when I was printing it. So you just wanna line it up pretty well. Get your sublimation tape, and I try to use as little as possible. I'm actually going to flip this over because sublimation is done best on the paper side up. Before it goes off again, shock me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and I'm going to put it on my press. Um, I actually did this one really long. I'm gonna to try to do 60 seconds. I'm gonna try 60 seconds. That's what usually everybody sublimates everything on. So I'm gonna try it, even though I prefer longer times. And we will see, if I need to do it longer, I'll just do it again. So let's go to the heat press. So now I am here on my heat press. Let me make sure you guys can see me pretty well. Okay, everything is looking great. And we're just gonna go ahead and sublimate this. So my sublimation, my heat press is almost at 400. We're gonna wait till it gets to 400 and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down and sublimate. All right, you guys, so let's see what 60 seconds will do. Okay, 
right, guys. I guess your 60 seconds work. So we do have a little mark here. Um, and I'm okay with that. I think my fabric had a mark and I saw it. But it still came out great. So we're going to go ahead and add this to our canvas. So the way that I intend on adding this to the canvas is by simply centering it and flipping it over. You just want to make sure that each side gets no white. So it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty much all photo. So the first pull, I'm not going to pull too hard. I'm just going to leave it flush with the, the corner. I'll do it here too. Okay. Then I'm going to pull this side up. Oh, maybe I should do the middle too. So let's go ahead and do our middle. And then I'm going to pull all the way to the other side. Let me make sure you guys can see me clearly. Pull all the way up here. I'm going to start by stapling the middle. Pull up. Now that we got that, this is how we're looking so far. And we are going to do our sides now. Oh, but that pulls his face to the side. So let's do this side first. Let's pull it really tight. stays clean looking. I would reinforce this with a lighter just to seal the phrase. And then I'll lightly pull his face to the side. It sucks that his face got pulled that way, but uh, it's okay. It's still a beautiful picture. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up really quick. Now for my corners. All right, you guys, so now I just need to work on my corners. And the way that I want to do that, I wanna make sure you guys can see me, is that I just want to, from my understanding, I fold one side down and I'm going to pull the other side over. 
So if I can show you guys that again, if I were to make a, a triangle, uh, just a tight corner, I'm gonna push it inward and push it up. So I pushed it inward and up. And then this next part is going to be pulled over that. I wish I can actually push it inward and down. Yeah, but no, I can't. So inward and up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and staple that. Careful. This one down and over. I lost a little fray. You guys could also, don't forget to use a lighter. But when I have frays, I just cut it off. And I wanna cut off this little tip right here. And I am going to push this down and pull this over that piece that we previously did for a nice tight, for a nice tight crease. I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm gonna push down hard and staple that right there. And if you guys can see closely, that is how my corner looks. I can clean it up more, get that little fray off. And then you guys could also use, you guys could also use your, um, your lighter as well. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with the rest of the four corners and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this is how my back looks. I could easily staple again, one, two, three. I'm actually gonna do that, but that's pretty much it. And um, that's the back of my canvas. And this is the front. You guys just wanna make sure next time your picture is centered, but this is the side of the canvas, the bottom of the canvas. That's it, I am in love. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ask any questions if you guys have any questions. I really would love your questions. It challenges me. It motivates me. It teaches me. And it also helps me get paid by YouTube. And I love you guys. So thank you so much. This is one. And that is two. So that is our two canvas images. So enjoy guys. Bye, thank you so much. See you next time.